What's the difference between content aware fill and generative fill? Say you want to remove a group of tours from your photo. Creating a lasso selection around one or two of them. I'll jump into the fill dialog under the edit menu. Select content aware and press OK. For smaller areas like this, you may see decent results since Photoshop is looking at the pixels in and around your selection, then filling it in with similar information. But once you expand to much larger and complex areas like this, Content Aware starts to become a lot less reliable since there's a lot less information and it doesn't really understand what's going on in the photo. Instead, let's try out Generative Fill. And since we're looking to remove what's inside our selection, we simply need to press Generate. The big differences between Generative Fill and Content Aware Fill is that Generative Fill understands what's in the photo and it's able to generate brand new information rather than patching something together from the existing image. So when the process is complete, you'll be left with a much more accurate result, with a few different options to choose from. The same works for extending images. For some, Content Aware can absolutely pass, but once your scene becomes more complex, the results can get quite wild. But with Generative Expand, you'll find that the available options are more in line to what you would expect. And that's a quick look at the difference between Content Aware Fill and Generative Fill in Photoshop. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe for more, follow me on social, and I'll see you all next time.